Welcome back to another episode of Quantum Leap, where we explore qubits as the fundamental units of quantum computers. As our thirst for computational power grows, scientists are pushing the boundaries of traditional computing and probing the realm of quantum mechanics. At the same time, the quest for lightning-fast data transmission has led to the exploration of novel techniques. In this exciting journey, humanity explores non-classical systems and their potential to revolutionize computation and information processing. One particularly fascinating avenue of exploration involves the use of diamond materials as a potential host for these quantum wonders. So get ready to explore the world of diamonds, where they might be the future of quantum computers. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join us. Diamonds often represent purity and unyielding strength. These mesmerizing crystals, composed solely of carbon atoms, are renowned for their natural beauty. But did you know that during the creation process in the Earth's crust, diamonds can pick up impurities, particularly nitrogen atoms? What's even more intriguing is that diamonds can be grown artificially in specialized lab environments, replicating the intense conditions found deep within the Earth. In fact, synthetic diamonds may exhibit even higher purity than their natural counterparts. Some have properties such as hardness, thermal conductivity, and electron mobility that are superior to those of most naturally formed diamonds. More importantly, diamonds aren't just used for jewelry. They are emerging as one of the most promising materials for cutting-edge technology. Over the past few decades, researchers have been developing artificial diamond wafers for a wide range of applications, serving as bare substrates and chip materials in various technological end use. The physics of single crystal diamond is interesting when considered as a semiconductor. Diamond hosts over 100 luminescent defects in its atomic lattice. Among those, nitrogen impurities are the most abundant which either exists as a single substitutional center or in aggregated form. Nitrogen vacancy centers exhibit exceptional stability, even at room temperature, setting them apart as a unique class of optically active solid-state systems. Their ability to be optically addressed makes them promising candidates for qubits, the fundamental units of quantum computing. But what exactly are nitrogen vacancy centers? They are tiny imperfections within the diamond lattice. A nitrogen vacancy center is a defect formed when a nitrogen atom is substituted for a carbon atom next to another lattice site also missing a carbon atom, namely a vacancy. The electrons trapped in the vacancy form an NV center which absorbs light at certain wavelengths and has useful optical and spin properties. That's why the nitrogen vacancy centers in diamond are also referred to as color centers. Actually, these specific point defects give a pink color to diamond. The specific defect exhibits a spin triplet ground state, which can be manipulated and measured using optical and magnetic resonance techniques. Spin triplet state is a fundamental quantum property of particles, such as electrons, when their spins are aligned in a specific orientation. In the spin orientation, the total spin of electrons is equal to 1. Spin, in the context of quantum mechanics, is not a conventional rotation, but a more abstract concept that characterizes a particle's intrinsic quantum properties, such as angular momentum. The spin states of nitrogen vacancy centers can be initialized, manipulated, and read out using laser light, microwave radiation, and fluorescence detection. The optical method readily enables the readout and initialization of the electron spin of the diamond NV center at room temperature. Experimental studies have demonstrated that NV center qubits in diamond can exhibit remarkably long coherence times, on the order of milliseconds to seconds at room temperature. Substantially longer coherence times, up to tens of seconds, can be achieved for NV centers by operating them at cryogenic temperatures, typically below 100 Kelvin. The coherence time of a quantum state refers to the duration for which the quantum system remains in a superposition of states, allowing for the performance of quantum operation without the loss of quantum information to the environment. Hence, coherence times stand out as a key metric for effective quantum computing. In addition to their long coherence times, NV centers are relatively insensitive to external noise, such as magnetic fields, electric fields, and temperature fluctuations. This robustness allows for their operation in a variety of environments, including ambient conditions, without the need for complex shielding or stabilization techniques. Moreover, they exhibit strong coupling to photons, enabling efficient optical readout and manipulation of their spin states. This optical accessibility simplifies experimental control and allows for direct coupling to optical systems for quantum communication or sensing. 
In addition to that, these quantum entities can be integrated into various material platforms, including nanodiamonds, thin films, and photonic crystals, paving the way for scalable quantum information processing architectures. NV defects may also be employed as sensitive probes for various physical parameters, including magnetic fields, electric fields, temperature, strain, and pressure. Another aspect of diamond NV centers is that they possess biocompatibility. They can be integrated into biological systems, enabling in vivo quantum sensing and imaging of biological processes and molecular interactions. Last but not least, NV centers can be coupled to photons. This allows the transfer of quantum information over optical fibers or free space links. Using this capability, building quantum networks for secure communication and distributed quantum computing may become possible. While NV centers offer exceptional properties for quantum applications, they also face certain limitations that need to be addressed. Photo bleaching, spin-spin interactions, sensitivity to surface effects, qubit initialization and readout errors are the topics among those. Decoherence due to nitrogen vacancy fluctuations, difficulty in scalable integration, and the requirement for cryogenic operation for optimal performance pose challenges for their widespread adoption as well. Having said that, a remarkable research in the field is being carried out for rectifying these limitations by various institutions. ExceedQ specializes in quantum computing technology using spin qubits in diamond. Based on this technology, Frankfurt's first quantum computer, named Babe Diamond, will start as a pilot system with five qubits. Ulm-based startup ExceedQ is scheduled to deliver the device in the first quarter of 2024. Another German company, Saxon Q, offers a diamond-based, freely programmable qubit system, which makes it possible to perform various arithmetic operations. Next, Quantum Brilliance, a Dutch startup developing room temperature quantum computers based on NV center qubits in diamond nanowires. Their large-scale interconnected quantum accelerators hold the capability of addressing complex systems such as molecular dynamics. D-Wave systems, NVIDIA Quantum, and Honeywell Quantum Solutions are exploring the use of NV center qubits in diamond for quantum computing and artificial intelligence applications. Like other qubit technologies, nitrogen vacancy qubits require extensive research and development to harness this highly elusive yet promising quantum system. Once high-quality NV qubits are controlled within a framework of managing many qubits simultaneously, it will enable scalable quantum computer architectures. It will also unlock the potential for ultra-sensitive biomaterial detection, along with facilitating the development of quantum sensors for various key application fields. Thank you for watching. Until next time.